ಸಂಕ್ರಾಂತಿ ಬಂತು ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಶಾಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಅ ಫ್ರೀಲಿ ಸಸ್ಪೆಂಡೆಡ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಾಲಿಡ್ಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅ ಹೆಕ್ಸಿಗನಲ್ ಪಿರಮಿಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗಿವನ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಸಾಲಿಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರೀಲಿ ಸಸ್ಪೆಂಡೆಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾರ್ನರ್ ಟು ಬಿಗಿನ್ ವಿತ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಗಿವನ್ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಡ್ರಾ ದ ಹೆಕ್ಸಿಗನಲ್ ಪಿರಮಿಡ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಯು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನೇಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ಲಿ ನಾವು to find out its center of gravity we ha- they have given the height total height divided by 4 which gives a gravity point call it as g or cg is also fine from this join to the reference corner and ensure that you show this dimension next since it is freely suspended with one of its corner when i make it to suspend it falls like this so when it is falling like this you can clearly make a note this particular rope is perpendicular to hp with this concept we shall proceed the next position proceeding further now as i told this particular g to d will be perpendicular to hp i have drawn this and named this as d dash and measure from d dash to center of gravity point and call it as g next you can observe d dash g and o is a simple triangle by using this you can proceed the problem i have marked d dash and g measure from d dash to o dash cut an arc and o dash to d dash g cut an arc so you will get this point so this is the triangle you are getting so with this you can proceed the problem so this is the most important step you need to concentrate further if i extend this axis next if i join this and if i extend this for a suitable dimension and join this measure from d dash to e dash which is same as a dash to b dash mark this then join this to complete the second position proceeding further what i have done from the respective points i have just projected down again from these points i have projected down and i have named accordingly the most important point here what you need to check is by default in the previous uh, solid problems you have had name just a b c d like this and you will try to copy the same naming here the thing is please do meet point accordingly there is a chance of swapping these two in this position have a look d is here and d meet somewhere here this is the most important point to take care of next again looking at this name this accordingly spend maximum time in this particular position next we all know the outer boundary of the solid will be a thicker line and looking from the top view the base part is clearly visible we shall proceed the problem as i told when it is freely suspended this way from the top view the base part is clearly visible for an observer and this particular edge is clearly visible so with this knowledge we shall proceed the problem the outer boundary by default it is a darker one and since the base is clearly visible highlight this one with a darker line and this particular o dash to d dash it is clearly visible from the top so this supposed to be a, a darker line and coming to this b dash to o dash and b to o and o to f if i look from the top this particular edge is not visible so what i do i just draw this with a dotted line o to a is not visible so this supposed to be a dotted line for a given 
angle i have drawn this line and i have marked from a to this point i have marked here and i have measured accordingly and i have marked these points since it is making an angle of 90 degree all these lines i have drawn this 90 degree for a drawn line next measuring dimensions accordingly from this line to b and all these dimension remains same so with that i have marked all these points and named this accordingly make a replica of this figure here that completes this particular step after completing this position this is how it looks what i have done now from all the respective points i have projected and again from this i have projected meet all these points carefully we all know the outer boundary in a solid is always a solid line or a dark line with that concept i will draw this a darker one and again this is a boundary dark this is a boundary again this and again this and again this one so what i have done from o dash to a dash f dash e dash d dash f dash all these falls in a boundary i have done that next further the base part is not visible so the left out is this so i will draw this with a dotted line next show this axis the axis line is shown next from this particular front view o dash to d dash is clearly visible draw this line and again o dash to e dash it is clearly visible draw with a dark line and again f dash to o dash is clearly visible draw those points and complete the problem after completing the set things this is how it looks the most important point you need to remember is from all the base corner ensure it should be joined to the apex here all the points are joined except o dash to b dash so that is also a dotted line if i join this this completes the problem so this is the final position of the given problem thank you